Aquarius. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here with the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 24th to the 30th of May. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, so Aquarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for this coming week is the Six of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Hanged One, which is the Hanged Man in this tarot deck. Okay, all right, so Aquarius, your challenge this week has a lot to do with victory, achievement, finally coming to a place where you can say, wow, I did it. I did this. I achieved this. This was my doing. This is what I did, okay? Uh, your challenge has a lot to do with um, you. You see the, the person on a horse reaching for the star. The star is your energy. So I'm gonna clarify this and get the message that you need to hear when it comes to your challenge in a moment. In the recent past Aquarius, you have the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and you have the Four of, Wa uh, Four of Swords, excuse me. So I feel like in the past here, um, there was definitely something that really pushed you into a place of healing, really pushed you into a place of going within yourself, really trying to um, connect with why you decided to rush towards something, why you decided to do something without completely thinking about it. Okay, there's something here about you taking action in the past. There could be, for some of you, there could have been some regret, okay? Or there could have been a situation where things happened and you didn't completely want things to happen that way, but they ended up happening that way, which led you into this place of, wow, I really need to spend time on my own. I really need to just go within and do some inner work here in the past, okay? This is what I'm getting here. Now, in the present moment, you have the justice, you have the lovers, and you have the temperance. There's something here that is definitely happening behind the scenes, okay? The temperance for me is something that happens behind the scenes that we don't completely understand. It is energies that are manifesting, mutating when it comes to a connection that you are really strongly connected to, the divine. If you look at these two cards, okay, I'm going to show you up close, you're going to see that with this card, you have an angel and with this card, you have an angel, which is connecting your divine connection. Okay. So there is something here that is being set right or will be set right. A lot of you are maybe asking about this. Is this, you know, is this person going to come back? Are we going to work things out? Or, you know, even if it's not a person, if it's just a situation or scenario in your life, you want something here to be set right. You want to bring something back into balance. And I see that happening for for you in the present moment which leads to this beautiful union that you've had a lot of doubts about with the lovers the lovers is for me a card of doubt because it is not something that we um do on our own it's something that the divine comes in and does for us okay so i'm going to clarify this in a moment and we're going to see in the near future uh, aquarius you have the two of swords the uh prince of swords which is the page of swords in this deck and the sun Something here brings a lot of happiness to you. Um, you know, this is something that's least expected. And you are really trying to get all the information in terms of why is this happening. You know, something falls right into your lap, okay? It's almost as if something happens um, out of the blue that you didn't see coming. And now you're like, you know what? I need to do my research. I need to figure out why this happened. The interesting thing here is, is that either you or someone else is closed off. But why? 
when whatever this situation is in the near future brings so much illumination and light and happiness. This may be the reason why your challenge is the Six of Wands, because when you have an opportunity to achieve something that you've wanted to achieve, you back down. Let's do some clarification and see what's going on for you. Okay. All right. Okay. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the six of wands. Okay, so the six of wands is clarified by the high priestess in reverse, the four of wands in reverse, and the empress in reverse. Okay, so your challenge has a lot to do with, okay, very specific message here, not going to be for everyone this week, um, but someone needs to hear it. Your challenge has a lot to do with you being able to get up, still have the confidence, still have the ability to create something for yourself. Just because a relationship doesn't work out, just because, you know, something, something, there's a breakup, there's a heartbreak, there's pain, you know, your, your house is turned upside down, things aren't moving the way that you want them to move. There is these trials that are coming in with the Mercury retrograde that's happening and Mercury retrograde is affecting all the air signs more than any other signs this coming few weeks. So your challenge Aquarius has a lot to do with you not moping around, feeling sorry for yourself, um, choosing not to listen to your intuition, choosing to kind of just wait around until something happens. No, the advice here is go out and do it on your own. Go out and find and make your own opportunities. Don't wait on somebody else to do it for you. And even though it may be tempting for you to wait on this person to come around and resolve something with you, it's better for you to start working on yourself and really finding the victory and happiness within yourself. Because what that naturally does is it brings things naturally in the ethers back into alignment. When the universe sees you working on yourself and doing what you need to do in order to bring yourself back into balance, regardless of what is happening on the outside, you show the universe and you say, look, I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing what I need to do. You want to fall in line here? You want to come into alignment with me? The universe is going to say, well, gee, that makes a lot of sense. Of course, I want to come into alignment with you. I see you're in, a, in alignment. So of course, everything else around you has to be in alignment. A lot of you are asking why something didn't work out, why something hasn't moved forward, why something hasn't been growing, why is there trauma or issues in your household? And it's because you need to start focusing on what it's going to take for you to be in this place of victory. What does victory mean to you? What does success mean for you? Not what success and victory means for you and everybody else, but what does it mean for you? Because once you're able to set that example, everything else has to come into alignment. That's natural law. Okay. You know, you're not going to attract somebody that is crazy if you're not crazy. It's very simple. All right, so that's the analogy I wanted to use. I'm gonna move forward now. Um, let's talk about the past. Let's talk about the past. So in the past, you rushed towards something. Let me clarify the Knight of Swords here in the past. Okay. So the Knight of uh, Swords, excuse me, did I say the Knight of Wands? Knight of Swords is clarified by the Devil in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, what I'm really strongly getting here, Aquarius, is a lot of you um, failed in something that you thought was going to be great, something that you rushed towards, could have been a Capricorn in the past year. I'm getting fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting maybe um, a Virgo, okay? You rushed towards this person. You really thought things were going to work out. Uh, there was an opportunity here presented to you. It's like this person dangled something in front of your face and you got the hint of, oh, okay, 
Now this person wants to work on things. Okay, this is great. I'm going to rush towards it. When that happened, there was a failure here because somebody here was withdrawn. Things were not the way that they were in the past, okay? Or in the past past, things weren't the same. So you were confronted with this energy of withdrawal from this person, which actually led you into hermit mode and led you into a place of healing, okay? Because you failed at something. So the past has a lot to do with your challenge for this coming week because even though something in the past failed doesn't mean you're overall a failure in general, you can always get up, dust yourself off, and really align yourself back, okay? And that's what your challenge is talking about, connected to the past. Okay, so in the present moment, you've been waiting. You've been waiting on something to work out. You've been, you've been praying, you've been saying, I want this situation to be resolved. What is it that you want to be resolved in the present moment or what will be resolved in the present moment for you, Aquarius? So the justice card is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. You really wanted this situation to be resolved, okay, with this water sign or this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting Sagittarius, Gemini here in the present. So yeah, you've wanted this situation to be resolved because for many of you, um, you're trying to figure out why this person has been on and off with you. They haven't really been consistent with you the way that you want them to be consistent. You may have even told this person, look, I think it's time to really uh, set things right in our connection because I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about you. Uh, this person, I have to be honest with you, Aquarius, I'm really getting, if you're dealing with a water sign, I'm really getting this person's playing games or they don't know what they really want. And this is why you're you know, you're in your head about this situation and really wanting to know what's happening. For some of you, you said something to this person and they um, started to emotionally withdraw or they were very inconsistent with you. So what's happening, the divine is stepping in, okay? Um, there is a beautiful connection in the present moment that's coming in for you that is going to be resolved. Something here is going to be resolved within the connection, but at the same time, the universe is saying, are you willing to be patient? Because some of you are quick to rush towards this person. You did that in the past and you failed. So your, your test here in the present moment is coming from the divine. There's an important message here, okay, for you from the temperance energy. So tell me about what the important message here is for Aquarius at this time. So the temperance is clarified by the two of wands, the world and the 10 of wands. Yeah. So the universe is saying, put an end to control, put an end to putting in the um, physical energy to make something happen. Because a lot of you in the present moment are in separation from someone. Okay. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, getting Scorpio, Taurus, maybe another Aquarius. You are in separation with this person and you keep asking yourself, are we going to get back together? Is is things going to be resolved? Is this my twin flame? There's so many questions that you're asking right now, but you're not getting the answers that you want. And for many of you in the present moment, you're sitting there and you're dwelling on this situation. And instead of dwelling and sitting there and, you know, somewhat feeling sorry for yourself, that's your challenge is to accept and surrender and say, you know what? Maybe I need to allow the divine to do what they need to do in this situation. So what is the divine doing in this connection? Because you are connected to this person. You are strongly connected to them. So what is happening behind the scenes that you don't really know uh, is happening for you when it comes to this connection? After you surrender, mind you, after you surrender, if you surrender, that's a personal choice of your own. Uh, let's clarify the lovers. Okay, so the lovers in the present moment is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the lovers. Wow. <laughs> present moment, lovers twice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So the lovers is clarified by the lovers, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords, excuse me or Ace of Wands, yeah, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords. 
everything that I've been telling you, you need to surrender. Six of Swords. You need to remove yourself from believing or wanting to know whether or not there's going to be a new beginning. Accept it. Move forward. Do not be attached to having a new beginning with this person. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen, but it's not going to happen on your terms. It's going to happen when you completely forget about it. When you completely start saying, okay, what do I need to do? Should I go get a massage? Should I go cook something? There's so many other things that you could be doing than focusing your energy on trying to control the situation because it's out of your control. The present moment is asking you to surrender. There is going to be a new beginning if you release control. I see this all the time in your reading and it's showing up, especially during the Mercury retrograde, okay? So what happens for you? What happens is you finally get the peace of mind, the illumination, the light that you've been seeking. But when it finally presented, presents itself to you divinely, because the sun is divine energy, it's not something that's man-made, it's something that's divine. Uh, we have the uh, page of swords here. You're trying to figure out, well, why did this happen? I didn't think that this was going to happen. It happens because you release control. That's why it happens. But the problem here in the near future is, is that you're closed off to it because it's too good to be true or um, let's see why. Let's clarify the two of swords. Why is there resistance here? Why is someone closed off in the near future? It's not telling me why this person's closed off. Um, somebody here has to make a decision and they're not sure about making a decision. Could be you. We have the page of swords, the sun and the strength. So yeah, this is about you having the strength to really open yourself up or your person to be open to this happiness. There's something here after you finally releasing control and expectation in the present moment that it just naturally shows up for you. This situation naturally shows up for you, but you're questioning it. That's the problem. Tell me more about this, this, this natural, beautiful situation that's presenting itself for Aquarius in the near future. I'm seeing a lot of happiness for you in the near future. Lots. The sun is clarified by the seven of swords, the five of swords, and the death. Okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. Okay, put your listening ears on. <laughs> Listen to me and listen to me very, very clearly. You need to put an end to arguments, conflict, um, always trying to be right, Aquarius. And, you know, it's not easy for me to say this to you, but it's a very clear message here that a lot of you in the near future could potentially sabotage something very beautiful if you continue to always do this research and always try to figure out, well, you know, it's like you want something to be perfect and nothing is perfect. Are you going to miss an opportunity because you want something to be perfect? Or are you going to take the leap of faith and open yourself up to something that could really bring you a lot of happiness? Sun here is twice in the near future. You're being called in the near future to put an end death card with the five of swords and the seven of swords of always assuming that someone's not being honest, always assuming someone's trying to take advantage of you, always assuming that this person has something wrong with them. Let it go. Allow the happiness to come into your life and take action towards it get out of your head eight of swords because you will be in your head about this some of you are single and there's a beautiful opportunity coming in for you but you remain holding on to your old ways queen of swords i'm going to tell you something the mercury retrograde is going to push you out of this stagnation the sab the self-sabotage that you've been creating for yourself okay because you want happiness but you're not allowing it to happen for you this is the honest truth this is what i'm seeing in the cards what is your advice? Let's see. What is your advice? The advice here is the nine of cups, the four of cups, and the three of swords. Okay. Your advice here is to really go within yourself and, and ask yourself, why do I keep rejecting people? Why do I keep wanting this happiness but I can't get I can't seem to get past this happiness of you know being with someone else I want to be with someone else I want to feel fulfilled if you want to feel fulfilled and happy in your emotional life in your love life you really need to go within yourself and heal you really need to go within yourself and recognize it's not your fault for feeling this way it's not your fault you don't need to project that onto others what needs to happen here is you need to recognize what you need to do to heal within yourself in order to be open 
to accepting love on the next level. After the Nine of Cups is the Ten of Cups. And that's where you're headed. Okay. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.